Hi, Rob Lunard here in the Hazel's Wine Department, and we are bringing you Zuper Sales for the week of March 27th. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back. Two wines from Spain, one from California this week. We're going to start with the Spanish. This is the beautiful 2020 Protocolo white wine. This is a Blanco. A bit of a blend here, uh, varies a bit from year to year, but what's important here is what's in the bottle. And what we've got here up front is this great, round, in-your-face sort of citrus, super fresh lemon, grapefruit skin coming through. As it opens up on your palate, then we're gonna get into some cherry, berry fruits even showing up through here. Gonna carry through with a nice sort of earthy banana, sort of think plantain. So there's a bit of a tropical note here. So showing a lot of depth, a lot of detail here. There's some good acidity here. And frankly, this is gonna kick you on the finish. So for that acidity, you're gonna wanna balance that with a bit of food. Not gonna be a porch pounder. Don't just have this on its own. Give it something light, something acidic to kind of play with that finish and let the fruit just sing. Next up, we're still in Spain for the 2020 Bodegas Breca Rosé. This producer, Bodegas Breca, they specialize in garnacha. Real fans of that grape. So that's gonna be the primary, if not the only grape involved here. This, like so many Spanish rosés, is a big, big rosé. High alcohol here, which is gonna give it a lot of weight and intense, intensely concentrated fruits here. I was thinking about dried, concentrated orange peel, sort of burnt orange peel, dried apricot. Uh, you'll get into a bit of a sort of a dried apple character. So you see where I'm going with the real density and concentration and intensity of the fruit here. As it carries through the palate, there'll be some lightly spicy notes to kind of play with that. As always, we find just a little bit of an earthy tone to the backside of this wine. Just like the Protocolo, again, with this big kick of acid on the finish. So this is a food rosé, but get it with the right food and get it on your palate. And again, the fruit is just gonna bomb your palate here. Last up, we're heading to California now for a very unusual varietal. This is the 2020 J-Lore Wildflower Valdigay. Valdigay grape that used to grow all over the south of France, but it's mostly gone now. It's been replaced with other varieties. It did have a presence in California, much more substantial than now. And back then they called it Napa Gamay. These days we're just calling it by its proper name, but it is gonna show you a lot of Gamay-esque character here. So think mid-weight Beaujolais in terms of body, nice juicy acidity, this is gonna walk the line between sort of red and darker fruits. So slightly tropical notes like pomegranate, maybe blood orange are gonna show up. A little bit of plum, blueberry, blackberry notes on the nose. On the palate, it's all about those fruits. Very concentrated, almost jammy, but not quite as it carries through the palate. So real rich kind of concentration on the finish on this wine. Again, that juicy acidity will play very nicely on the finish. And for me, just a bit of accent note, a little bit of white pepper, maybe just a hint of meat or smoked meat to kind of round this out. It's a very unusual grape. Not a lot of this left in the world, but if you love that easy drinking, soft Gamay style, this is gonna be right in your wheelhouse. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.